This type of chart right here is called a Pareto chart and they're fairly easy to make. I can show you how on this new tab here. So what we're looking at is sales figures from given product lines. And the first step we need to do is create a cumulative sum of percentage of these sales. So we can do that by hitting equals sum, open parentheses, close, and divide by the total. So we see here, linen accounts for 27% of the sales, paper accounts for 20% of the sales, so cumulative they, cumulatively they equal 47, and so on down the list until you get to 100%. Because of rounding, and these are smaller figures, you have a few that show 100, but this is slightly less than 100 here. Then for visual purposes, you want to put 80% as a straight line, or it will become a straight line when we put it in the graph but we simply put 80% down the entire row alongside the cumulative sum. Now we're going to grab this in our highlight and insert a column chart, this first option here. And now comes the fun part of having to try to grab those little tiny bars down here. We do, we grab whichever one we can and that's the 80% we go to format data series, hit secondary axis. We can right click on here, change chart type. We want to make it a line chart. Then we go down here and grab the cumulative sum bar, right click, put this on the second axis as well, secondary axis. And we also want to change this to a line graph. I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Change series chart type. Make that a line chart as well. Now to make it slightly more visually appealing, I like to shorten up the gap between the two bars. And I also like to format the axis to make it end at 100%. And I also am not a fan of the legend being on the right so I drop it down to the bottom to make the graph a little bigger and there you have the same graph as before so that is how you make a Pareto chart with your data I hope this helps thanks a lot for watching